Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out a microphone and it's called the Biotron model number YXM04. So with content creating being so popular lately, we see lots of microphones coming out into the market and audio playing a big role in video recording. We have a lot of options out there and upgrading your microphone from your internal camera could be the most impactful part to your video. So this mic here makes it very accessible to a lot of people because it is a budget friendly microphone. And so here's our specifications. And here's the weight at 68 grams, which is very nice because, you know, the last thing you want is a really heavy microphone to carry around on top of your camera. All right, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. So right on the top, we can see there is a little bag included, and this is to store the microphone. We got a thank you card and how to contact the company. A little owner's manual. So here it shows us how it all goes together and what everything does. So we got quite a bit of different cables here and the reason for that is because there's different types of connections you can make. Looks like we have an adapter to use it with your cell phone. Looks like we also get a little wind muff, a mini tripod with legs and it can hold your phone. And on top here we have a cold shoe where the microphone can mount. So we also get another windbreaker and for the last part we have the microphone. So just picking up right away it's not very heavy so that's a plus. And as far as construction goes it looks pretty good overall. We have a metal housing here so this is all metal and then the back of it here is plastic so we have an on and off switch our shock mount dampers and I'm not sure how well these will work they do have some dampening to them but it's mostly like a soft plastic I guess it does have some give but it's not ultra bouncy around so it's quite rigid in there so we'll see how good that works and on the bottom bracket we have a quarter inch thread and a locking nut and all these parts below here are plastic. So looking at the back of the mic, we got a red indicator, a green indicator, a micro USB port, and that's for charging, a microphone input, and an audio jack. So if you wanted to listen to what you're recording, you could do that. And this part here will be the output from the microphone to your camera. So let's do a little quick mock-up here on the stand that was included. So the microphone will go in here, and then you'll tighten it up. And so this makes it kind of nice because you can actually vlog with this. You put your camera in here, then connect the mic to it. And this acts like a little handle down here so you can straight away vlog with it. So I went ahead and put my phone in there so you guys can see a little better. But yeah, it'll work something like this. And you can hold it and vlog yourself with the phone while having a microphone. The important part about using the phone with this mic is the little adapter that it comes with. And it's this little guy here. Now this is just an extra adapter, but they actually have a... So on the cable here, they have labels that say microphone and then to your phone. So this cable here, the one that has the four separate connectors, will work with the phone. Now this other one here is an adapter to the camera. So this will go into the microphone and then the other side will go into like a DSLR camera or mirrorless camera or whatever you got. So we're going to plug in the phone side of the cable into the phone and the microphone part into the mic itself on the left side. Just like that. And so now we're ready to go. Now this microphone has its own power, so you have to turn it on before, you know, it works. That's going to be up here with the on and off switch. So if we toggle that to on, you guys should see the green light that lights up right there. It's a little hard to see it on an angle, but if you look right towards it, you can easily see it. So yeah, now our microphone is on and it should be recording audio to the phone. So if you're the kind of person that likes to film with your phone or even vlog, this is a great setup here. And there's no additional things to really buy and everything included you have a holder a connector and a nice quality microphone now what I'm interested in is plugging it in into this camera here so this is a a6500 mirrorless camera so let's go ahead and take it off phone holder and also we will not be needing this cable and let's mount it onto our camera so just gonna slide into the hot shoe lock in with this turning knob so this is what it looks like so you can kind of see how large it is so this camera is not very big but overall shows you where the microphone's sitting so there is a little bit of a hangover here on the back so that might be an issue depending on what you're doing so if your camera's just in there it won't matter or if you're holding it towards yourself but if you put this on a gimbal or something that might be in the way so with this setup we're going to be using this other cable and so this one goes from the four points to the three so so here it says microphone and then camera. So we're going to plug the microphone in on the top and the other end into the camera. So maybe we can route this cable a little better. Let's say to the front it would probably work out a little nicer. But yeah, simple as that. We have the camera connected now to the microphone. Actually guys, regarding these cables, the one that I was using that was supposed to be for the camera is for some reason not working at all with the mic. By itself it's not. Then when I use this adapter, which brings it from the three pins to four pins, it kind of works sometimes, but it's intermittent. So maybe I'm not doing this right, but the cable 
cable that's meant for the phone works just fine so I guess I'm just gonna use that one because it seems to be working with my camera so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or or maybe this cable is not compatible with my camera but in any case it does work now and I can see all my audio bars here that it is working so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this camera and we're gonna be recording the audio from this microphone so you guys can hear what that sounds like so I'm gonna go ahead and push the record button all right so we are recording and I'm talking straight to it about a foot away so and this is what it sounds like so let's go ahead and move it to the side a bit this is about 45 degrees and I'm still about a foot away and that's what it, this sounds like so let's go ahead and go 90 degrees so still a foot away and this is what that sounds like let's go backwards here on an angle so it's probably starting to diminish somewhat and then we'll go completely to the back and it should be quite minimal overall so let's go ahead and put this wind sock on big fluffy one and it actually looks pretty nice so if you're going outside a lot and it's kind of windy this is supposed to help quite a bit so right now you're listening to me through the windsock also about a foot away so now at an angle 90 degrees and completely towards the back so all right well hopefully we can tell the difference but the windsock does diminish the quality of the sound a bit because you know because it has to go through all this hair now if you can use this option this is better usually especially if you're not outdoors as much I would just use this foam sock here and that should you know still give us good quality but still suppress some of the wind and the blowing sounds from their mouth like when we say pee so yeah this is what this sounds like so I also want to see how well the shocks work I'm just gonna tap the camera here on the side and see what that translates to so this is just kind of handling it I guess putting it down tapping it a little bit maybe just handling it let's see if we touch the microphone itself I'm gonna rub it so yeah We'll see how that sounds like. So for the next part, I want to do some distance tests. And right now we're about a foot away, maybe a little more foot and a half from the camera talking to the mic. So I'm going to back away to about two feet. So this is about two feet away. That's what that sounds like. So now we're about three feet away. And this is what three feet sounds like. And now about four or so going back to about five or six feet here. So quite far away, probably should not be used this far away, but we are testing it and now we are back to about one foot away so yeah this is a great little mic that could really help you with your audio if you want to take it to the next level and you definitely do because audio is just as important as the visual and plays a huge role in how well you can translate your content so you can have really good quality video but without good audio people still won't watch it because audio is a huge part of the experience so overall what you get with this kit here is quite impressive for the price and you have everything you need internal battery to charge you know you just have to remember to turn it on and off that's you know could be an issue but once you get used to it it becomes second nature and it's pretty cool how they include this stand here that holds your phone and the mic mounts straight up here so you know you can bounce from let's say your studio out to vlogging and back and forth so yeah overall a great mic and a great value and if you're interested in this thing i'm going to have some links in the description check it out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things i do on this channel then stay tuned and also if you want another type of mic that don't require battery power there are a few other options if you want to check that out all right well thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you on the next one peace